Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago you guys read um, the short story Stray by uh, Cynthia, let me just make sure I have this, by Cynthia Ry Ryland. Um, and so today, um, or in this video, I am going to be talking about what the plot diagram or what the plot of that um, short story was. Um, so I had y'all do an assignment where y'all told me the plot. Um, I read some of those. And it seems like we still have some confusion in the plot. All right. So in the exposition, we are introduced to the characters, the time and place it, it, the story takes place. So if we look back to Stray, the characters are um, Doris, the daughter, um, Mr. and Mrs. Lacey, and then the puppy. The setting would be in January, so we would say that the setting would be during winter time. Um, that is the exposition. That is basically we're just getting to know who the characters are and what the setting is. And the basic situation would be that it's this little girl who sees a stray dog. In the rising action, we start to see the major conflict, the problem in the story, and the events that are leading up to the climax. So the conflict of this story is that um, Doris wants to keep the puppy, but the parents are not allowing her to keep the puppy. So they find the dog, they keep the dog, um, and Doris gets attached to the dog, but Mr. Lacey said that he would take the dog to the pound. Um, so those are the events leading up to the climax. Now remember I said that climax isn't always just the middle of the story it's the most exciting part it's when something is about to change so if we look back at the story stray think about what was the part of the story in which we felt the most suspense in which something was about to change and that part was when um mr lacy said you better feed that mutt before it dies of starvation. Meaning that Mr. Lacey did not take the dog to the pound. Um, so that was a turning point. That was the point in which um, something changed in Mr. Lacey. Now, Mr. Lacey would be someone who, a character that changed from beginning to end. In other words, he would be a dynamic character. He changed from not wanting the dog to ended up keeping the dog. The following action are the events that um, happen afterwards. So um, Doris is kind of confused as to why her dad would say that. And then she realizes that her dad actually did not take the dog to the pound. And the resolution, how does the story end? The story ends by Doris keeping the dog and um, being, being happy with uh, the decision to keep the dog. So if you did not answer in that way, I want you to reflect back and think, what were what did I say the plot, the major events of the story was, and how is it different from what Mr. Moreno said? Um, you um, now go ahead and um, complete the rest of the activity um, or the rest of the page on plot diagram. 